Hello and welcome back everyone to another beautiful episode of Advanced React WordPress Theme Development with Next.js and GraphQL. In this video we are going to talk about how to use the SVG icons in Next.js and how to display the social icons fetching the data from WordPress and displaying them dynamically. Okay, so how do we do that? So I have got some of the icons already available. So I've got the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. And what I'm going to do is I'll go to my components. Under components, I'm going to create a directory called icons. And inside of this, I'm going to create a directory called SVGs. Inside of SVGs, I'm going to copy these icons and I'm going to go ahead and paste it like so. Now, if you notice that it has got some of the information that you probably don't need when we are using these SVGs and we would expect that we should have components for these SVGs. Now, we do have a package available that makes our job a lot easier. So if we go to a package called SVG CLI, you can see that this is a pretty useful package. So what this is going to do is basically take all of the SVG icons from whichever directory you specify as its source directory and then it's going to output them as components with their names. Okay, so let's see that in action. What I'm going to do is I will install this. So I'll go to the terminal. So I'll go to the terminal, I'll say yarn add SVG CLI and I'm going to go ahead and install it and then once that is installed I'm going to go ahead and add a script so I'll head over to package.json and over here I'm going to add a script called SVG I mean you can name it whatever you want and then if you go back to the usage you will see that you can put SVGR over here then you have to put the options so I'll go with D which means the output directory so what will be my output directory uh, so my output directory will be source and then components and then icons so this is where I want to output it and what will be my input so next thing you have to put an input directory so my input directory will be icons and then SVGs right because that's where my, all of my SVGs stay. So what this is going to do is just going to take all of these SVGs from this and uh, it's going to output them as React components inside of the root of the icons uh, directory. Okay so let's see that in action. What I'm going to do is I'll say npm run SVG because that's the name of the script and I'll hit it. And there you go. Perfect. Congratulations. So you can see that it's sourcing it from the components icon SVG Facebook like this one and it just generated a component called Facebook so you can see that it's already a component and we don't really have to do anything right so that's pretty that's pretty useful uh, you've got the one for Instagram so you can see that it's converting Instagram to and it's outputting it to Instagram.js so it's just using the file name and converting them into react components which is pretty cool if you ask me and you can actually put that as a, as a developed dependency. So in fact, I should go ahead and change this to D. First, I'm going to uninstall it. So yarn remove. This should actually be the dev dependency and not dependency. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to add it now. I'll say add and then do dash t and this is going to ensure that it installs as a dev dependency because this is going to be a dev dependency okay perfect so I'll just run this again make sure it works and pm run SVG perfect works great awesome now we're going to okay now if you check over here it's exporting each one of them as defaults which means that I can use these uh, dynamically okay I don't want to go ahead and write all of these icons specifically so for example if you go to WordPress 
customize so if you remember I showed you in the previous video you've got these social links and so basically I want to display all of these icons into my footer but I want to fetch them dynamically and I don't want to write them four different times I want to be able to loop through them right so because in GraphQL we are actually getting the icon name I can actually create a template map okay so how do I do that I go to utils and I create a file called iconsmap.js I'm going to paste a bit of code over here then I'll explain to you what that means so what we are, what we are doing over here is we are importing all of these components that you see that the SVG CLI that the SVGR CLI has created for these SVG icons I'm importing all of them and I'm naming it as SVG icons component that I can just use them you can name it whatever you want but I'm just importing them with this name it just makes more sense okay and then I'm creating a function called get icon component by slug it's going to take a slug so when we are looping through because we will get this name called icon name okay so then it's going to take the name of that particular icon and we get that from here and then it's going to we are creating an object and we are keeping key value pair so the key will be the name of the icon for example this one and the value will be whichever that component is so svg component dot facebook is going to give me this facebook uh, svg icon component so this one basically right so this svg so now if you same thing goes for the other ones as well and then finally we're just checking if the slug sorry if the name if the name is inside of this component map then uh, component map and whatever that name is will be equal to the name equal to the component and this is going to be dynamic so depending on if it's a Facebook then it's going to become Facebook if it's Twitter it will become Twitter and so on and so forth so then we're just returning that icon component okay and then otherwise we're just returning null so that's what the job of this particular uh, get icon component by name actually not slug yep so that's that way we're going to get that so what we're going to do now is we'll go to our footer uh, which is inside of layout and over here this is where we want to map so inside of the footer variable we are actually getting all of the social links so if you notice inside of footer we are getting the social links so I'm going to first of all check not is empty footer dot social link okay and then and is array foot again footer dot social link if that's the case then do something otherwise null right now inside of this what we do is basically write our ul because it should be ul li right and then i'm going to start looping through these social links using the map function so i'm going to say map i don't need to use question mark now because you already checked that on top on top and map and this will be social link and then inside of this we'll say li and then a tag because it's going to be an external link <coughs> so inside of this I will say social link dot icon URL okay and inside of this this is where we need the that template map so I'll say get icon template not by slug but by name yeah I'm just gonna go over here back I'm going to go back over here and say get comp <coughs> get icon component by name and it's already Im going to import that on top okay and then finally just put the name of the icon so it'll be social link 
and then icon name okay so that way we're going to ensure that we will get this component dynamically so see what happens in the front end I'm just going to go run the npm run dev and I'm going to refresh there you go congratulations so you can see that you've got all of these icons which is perfect if you do an inspect element see what happens so you've got this div okay you need a key also right okay so I'll say social link key Oops. dot icon name because I know icon name will always be unique so I'll just put that perfect so take a look what happens here so you've got the div with the width of full and then you've got the ul inside of it and then i'm just looping through each of these icons which is facebook twitter instagram and youtube that's what we're getting in, into the data via graphql and then i'm just going ahead and putting the link value so link value is this one in this case it's going to be facebook one and then twitter and so on yeah right and if you open it up you've also got the SVG and notice that this SVG is dynamic why because we're calling this function we're passing the name so in the first case the name will be Facebook right it's a Facebook name the first one so once the first one is Facebook it's going to go and pick that component which is this one and it's just going to render that SVG and if you notice that that's what's happening it's just rendering that particular SVG see it's the same one same thing happens for the other ones as well perfect so this is pretty cool if you ask me because I don't have to repeat myself uh, tomorrow if I went ahead and added another component all I have to do is just update that in the icon map and just run my uh, npm run SVG and I'll, it'll automatically create that SVG for me which is really amazing the last but not the least we need to do is go ahead and uh, just style it a little bit so I'm just going to say class name flex so let's check okay we've got flex items center okay and it needs to have some space so I'm just going to say class name margin right to I think it would be nice to have margin left instead of right do and this whole thing needs to be on the right hand side so how do we do that well uh, pretty simple so if we do an inspect element and what, what we'll have to do is just add two classes flex and justify end these are tailwind classes I'm just going to copy that so now it's on the right hand side which is exactly what we wanted so I'm going to copy it, paste it here, oops, here. And I think two is not enough. Should it be four? Let's try that, how that look. Yeah, a little bit better. Of course, it doesn't look that great uh, because the sizes of these are a little different. But we won't worry about the CSS. Like I said, this project, this tutorial is mainly for uh, learning purposes, how these things are created. Probably in terms of CSS, that's something I, I will do later offline and, and we'll fix that in future. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And do give star to my repository like all these beautiful 27 people have. And uh, also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Imran Sayed as well. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.